Hey there. Um, <laughs> here, let's move this out of the way. Hey there. My name's Dave. I got something to say. Got some stories to tell. Talk to you live and direct from Houston, Texas. I'm a native-born Houstonian. And, you know, family kind of grew with Texas. Been Had some, some sort of connection with Texas going by, I don't know, definitely 150 years or more. Got some stories to tell about my family. Uh, one of these stories has to do with my Aunt Julia and Uncle Lester. Uh, my Uncle Lester, he was my mother's father's brother. So, yeah, we're make sure I got that correct. And, of course, his wife, uh, Julia, my, my Aunt Julia, she was apparently was originally born in what we now call the Czech Republic. Yeah. But uh, apparently she immigrated, you know, to Texas when she's real young. You know, her family moved here. And at some point, her and my uncle met and got married and, you know, all that. But uh, they own, uh, owned a farm out near Schulenburg. Now, Schulenburg is a little town about halfway between Houston and San Antonio. And like I said, when I was a kid, it seemed like we went out there several times, you know, family reunions, other things, you know, hang out, you know, spend some time out on the farm. And like I said, I heard, you know, some stories about my, my uncle, my aunt, well, aunt Julia, Uncle Lester. And one of those stories has to do where one time my uncle, Uncle Lester, apparently had, had raised several head of cattle. Decided it was time to take them into the town, sell them, you know, load them up in the trailer, hooked up the truck, went into town. Took them to the local auction, sold them up, hey, made, you know, made some good money off of it. So what he decided to do is before he went home, he's going to treat himself to something he'd been wanting to get. So what he did, he went over to the local boot shop, got himself a brand new pair of shiny cowboy boots, some genuine Nakonas. And they fit well, look great, and he's real proud of them. So, you know, drives home, you know, makes, you know, <laughs> got those boots on, walks into the house, Got to go show it, you know, to his wife, my, my Aunt Julia. And he walks in the kitchen, and my Aunt Julia's in there doing, you know, fixing supper or whatever. And she, my Uncle Lester just goes in and says, hey, Julia, you see anything different about me? And my Aunt Julia just kind of looks at him, and it's like, well, no, not really. I don't know. My uncle's a little disappointed at that. So he sits down at, at the dinner table with one of his feet kind of stuck out. <laughs> You know, where my Aunt Julia almost had to trip over him, but in practice, she just kind of just went around him, didn't pay any, any attention to him. And, of course, that frustrated my uncle even more to the point where he just then just put slip both feet and just, you know, slip, stuck them up right on the table. Of course, my Aunt Julia sees that, get your feet off there. You know, we're going to be having supper, too, soon. So, get you know, get them out there. So, at that point, my uncle's getting real frustrated. So, what he, do, what he does, he goes into the bedroom takes all his clothes off, except for those boots. <laughs> Sounds a little kinky, but I don't think that's something they were into. <laughs> and then walks back in the kitchen, and he gets in there and says to you know his wife, Julia, Okay, Julia, you see anything different about me now? <laughs> because my aunt just looks at him and goes, What in the world? And then my uncle Lester says, I got, me, got myself these brand new pair of shiny black cowboy boots, and they are so good looking, even my manhood's looking at them in admiration. <laughs> now, have, have you ever noticed how some country people like to use some big fancy words? <laughs> well, my Aunt Julia looks back at him, kind of looks up and down, and then gives him, you know, that look. And you know how some women can give their husbands or boyfriends were that look. And then she just looks at him in the eye and says, well, in that case, you should have got you a new hat instead. And, well, I kind of like this hat. It's not that new. But, but anyway, <laughs> again, thank you for watching, tuning in. Be sure to check back in soon. Got to have some more stories. So, until, for, <laughs> until later, you have a good day. We'll talk to you soon.